Ryan Gold, welcome back. You are just off a crazy long flight from Austin, straight into training today. How's the first few whirlwind hours been? Uh, it's been good. Um, yeah, a bit of a, a long flight to get here, but I, uh, I got I managed to get a good hour, a good few hours sleep last night, so uh, I'm feeling alright. A few familiar faces from your 21s days. Yeah, I, uh, I remember quite a few of the boys, and uh, obviously like Soapy and that played with growing up, and then there's quite a few of the boys that um, I played with 17s, 19s, 21s. Did it feel normal? Did it feel like just coming back home? Slip in straight away. I mean, yeah, no. Obviously, it's been a while since since I've been involved, so uh, there's there is a lot of boys that um, meeting for the first time. But um, I think yeah, it's just good to be to be back involved and um, to be back training with everyone. You were 18, I think, when you were first involved with the senior Scotland squad. It must feel like a, a lot longer than 10 years ago. A lot's happened since. What do you remember about initially being involved? Just the the standard. I remember being really high and the quality everyone had was um, obviously really good and coming in now I think there's even more players playing at the top level so um, I could see just from that session this morning there's a, a lot of boys with, with loads of quality. Who were the sort of senior figures that you remember at the time? Scott Brown, I think Sean Maloney, it was a good group to kind of be involved in at such a young age and you know I wish I could have been around it more but it was still a, an enjoyable camp that I remember. People who are going to watch this are Scotland national team fans who, who care passionately about the team and, and the country. It is nice to hear. I mean, that ambition has never left you. It's always been something you've you aimed towards getting back in. Yeah, I'd say it's the same for uh, for any player. They want to, you know, play for their national team. They want to be involved. So uh, I'm still only 28. So hopefully, I've still got a chance ahead of me. Should have asked. Just what time in the morning did you find out you were in the squad? I think four or five in the morning. Uh, and you were up. I uh, John texts me, so I seen that text, and that's how that's how I knew. That's terrible, isn't it? The gold for this. I I kind of thought they were half joking the first time that came up, but that's terrible. I'm going to skip past that one because that's just awful. Yeah, so that's uh, me and John Suter when uh, we went on a training camp with Ian Cathro. Uh, there was a a load of us for a for a week in Spain. Maybe we were. 10, 11, 12 there, so, um, and back in the days when, when he was still a winger, getting up and down the line, <laughs> times have changed eh? I think that's just after Stu's goal in, um, in Inverness, there wasn't too much pressure put on us tactically and uh, we were given the freedom to, to go and express ourselves and go and, go and play and um, yeah, we put in some, some good performances together. Still got a lot of nice messages from the United fans that have obviously kept tabs on you. Yeah, um, United fans have always kind of kept sending messages and supporting me, which I'm obviously really grateful for, and some great years at the club, and I guess that's where I where I learned everything I've, I've got now. Yeah, there's the, the four roommates, myself, Andy, John, and and Joe McGovern. Um, I think that was a I think that one was a day off on the in the middle of the week, maybe the Wednesday, and uh, the four of us were living together at that point, and. We were just, I think we were just in the flat and bored and had nothing else to do so we, the four of us went along to uh, I think it was Sports Direct and in the Overgate in Dundee and just decided to buy the goal and then uh, went up to the to the house all the, all the other boys were staying in and we ended up with like 12 of us down at the park just having a kick about and yeah, I guess just making the most of a, a day off. How were Andy and John as flatmates? Good habits, bad habits? I think Andy was, was mostly alright. John was probably the messy one, but though I think even today they were saying I, I was the tight one at the four of us, not not getting my money out to spend on on food and stuff. But uh, now we had some we had some good times there, and I think all, all four of us enjoyed being in there. Six months after this, I left for Portugal. Andy left for I think Andy left for Hull the same uh, the same summer as I moved to Portugal. So yeah, when we were having that game, we probably neither of us imagined you know being off uh, just a few months later. I said from a young age that I really wanted to experience uh, playing football abroad, and that's how when when Sporting came in, you know, I really wanted to um, to take the opportunity because I didn't know if I'd get another chance. And what's what's came from that with um, you know uh, buying a place over there and and settling down and um, you know adopting two dogs over there and 
Then learning the language, making a lot of good friends, it was, uh, it was a great experience and I think in the end it was seven years I was there and that, parts of it was tough but it was still a, a really good seven years I had. So why, why Vancouver? Why Vancouver Whitecaps? Well after, after my seven years in Portugal, we kind of decided it was time for a new challenge, um, time for something new and kind of decided Vancouver was going to be the, the right step for us and you know looking back on it I think it was a, a great decision and um, yeah we're both very happy over there. Even though you're in Vancouver obviously you don't need, need asked twice to, to fly back and, and represent Scotland. Yeah I mean uh, obviously it is a, it's a long way away but it only takes a, a day or two to get back in the rhythm of things so any time that my name's mentioned or um, I've got the chance to be involved you know it's not something that'll, that'll put me off it.